and the next lesson that we're going to do is install WordPress. So in order to do that, again, we need to go to our email. So let's go ahead and install WordPress. So we're just going to minimize this and go to our email. So my email is gmail.com. And we can see that we have an email from hostgator.com and we can uh, go ahead and go over to the tyler.com course and we can click install WordPress. Just click on it right here. And we can look at the main points. So the first thing is we need to get the email from our hosting provider that happened. We need to log into the control panel, which I'll explain. And we need to under software and services, click on WordPress, install WordPress, save your password, and then it's party time slash break time. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. The, we need, we got our uh, email from our hosting provider. Now we need to log into the control panel. So here is the email from HostGator. Let's go ahead and click on it. And we can see that it gives us all of this important information. We're going to want to save this information, maybe print it out or just save it to your computer or maybe just keep it in your email. But just know that it is super important information, it gives you all your usernames and passwords to, to everything. Okay, so uh, what we want to do is log into our control panel, like we said before. So this is where we can install WordPress. All right, so just go ahead and click on this link. And we are going to see, let me refresh that. We are going to see something that looks like this. All right, so just go ahead and put in your username. You can highlight it, right click, copy, right click, paste, and password. We could do the same thing here, copy, here, paste. All right, and press login. All right, once we're logged in, we don't need this tab up here anymore, so we can get rid of it. Then we wanna scroll down until we see software slash services. And this is how we install WordPress. So we can click on quick install. And on the left side over here, it says WordPress. So go ahead and click on WordPress. I know, super easy stuff. And they're going to say, um, we can install WordPress for you for a lot of money, but you're not going to do that because you're not, you're not going to fall for that stuff. All right, so we're just going to press install WordPress. We're going to do it ourselves. Okay, and now it's going to ask you, where do you want to install WordPress on? So right now, you probably only have one domain name. You probably only have one website name. But um, especially if you got the hatching plan, then you're only allowed one domain name. But I have the baby plan, so I have all of these domain names. So I'm going to use the one that we got, which was getacardboard.com. Now it's going to say forward slash something here. No, you want to install WordPress on your main website and not forward slash something else. So make sure this is blank. All right, admin email. We can, you know, just put in uh, your email address, not mine, obviously. And then title, maybe we can put. Uh, cardboard or I don't know whatever the title of your website is and we can always change this later don't worry about this at all all right admin user that can just be your name and first name and last name then we click install WordPress and it says okay and then you know this is just an advertisement right up here it's installing so it says your installation is complete uh, your install is complete. So now what we can do and what we have to do, and this is kind of weird here, but we have to click this to view our credentials. So this is our username and password that they generated for us. So with this step, we're going to make sure that we uh, copy this down. So just highlight it and copy it somewhere. We got to make sure that we have our username and password. So make sure you copy that. 
So right now we can't go to our website yet because it takes a little while for everything to work. It could take two hours, it could take up to 24 hours for it to work. And that's why I put party time slash break time because if we see here, we've done all of these things. We've saved your password, you saved it, right? But now let's take a break, let's get up, let's go outside. I'm gonna go on a hike or something um, or maybe eat some lunch and uh, take a little break because we need to take a break for everything to start working for our website to really go online. So that takes a little while. So make sure you copy all of this and we can now mark this installing WordPress as done. So we can complete the lesson and we can see it rise. Now we're 11% done. That's awesome. Good job. Go take a break. And when we come back, we are going to log into your website after the two to 24 hours, but it'll probably take anywhere from two to four hours. All right, see you soon.